Hi everyone, welcome to Poppy DIY Crafts. Today we're doing something really fun. We're going to be making a Cat Noir themed resin shaker. So this is the mold that I'm going to be using. This is actually for a round dish and it's rather large. So I think this will be a lot of fun. Inside the shaker, we're going to make the little paw print that is on Cat Noir's Miraculous. Other things we need include epoxy resin. I have a two-part resin here. We're going to need some glitter, some colorant. I have black and green. And I also have some Miraculous Ladybug stickers in the back. All right, let's get started. I've gone ahead and mixed some clear resin. And the first thing we want to do is actually treat these stickers. So I'm taking these stickers and I'm going to turn them into the charms for the shaker. I'm going to pick out a few and what we're going to do is coat both sides of it with some resin. So with each of these stickers, I'm going to coat them front and back with resin. Here, the one on the right, we're going to make it green. And on the right side, we're going to make it black. Let's start with one drop. Oh, this is pretty good. Look how dark it is. I also want to add some glitter, so I'm going to add a little bit of green glitter to the green side. And some black to the black side. Now we're ready to pour. We're going to pour green on one side and black on the other. And have them kind of meet in the middle. And I think it'll be kind of cool if we can mix it a little bit in the middle so it blends a bit more. Now we're going to let it sit and sit for at least 6 hours. Next, we're going to use some oven baked clay to make the paw print. I decided to make it out of resin instead of using green clay. So to do this, we will need to make a mold of the paw print first. I'm using some clay to shape all the different pieces in the paw. We also need to make sure that they are not too thick for the shaker mold. Here are all the pieces. We'll need to bake it first so that it's hard. Next, we're going to cast the mold with the baked pieces using composite mold. I overbaked the clay so they're a little bit burnt, but they will still work for the mold. This will take about an hour to set. Once it's set, we can easily remove it from the mold. And then mix some resin, add a bit of green paint, and pour it into the mold. Now we'll wait for a day for the resin to set. Alright, we are now ready to demold. So let's go ahead and take the plate out. There it is. Oh, it looks really, really good. It's so shiny. Now look at the gradient going from the green to the black. Alright, so let's take out the paw print. Here's the bottom piece. All right, we have the whole paw print here. Now we have all the pieces of the paw print ready and we are going to glue them down using some resin. So behind each piece, we're gonna put some UV resin. And then we're going to flip it over and place it on the dish. And then we're gonna cure it. And the resin is cured, so as you can see, the little paw print is now attached to the dish. All right, so now let's go ahead and add our embellishments. So we have these tiny little charms that we made out of the earrings, and we are going to add them here. So these were kind of float around the outside. Let's add some green stars. Some green teardrops and some beads. All 
Now we can finally seal up the shaker. So I'm going to be using some UV resin. We're going to take our shaker film and making sure to peel off both sides of the protective film. I'm going to place it on top of our shaker. And then we're going to cure it. So now we have a dry shaker. There's no liquid inside. To add the liquid, we're going to use one of these little drills to drill a little hole on the bottom. And through the hole, we're going to add the water. After checking for leaks, we're going to seal up that hole with more resin. Alright everyone, and we are done. So here is our little shaker. It's filled with water, some Cat Noir stickers, and of course, some teardrops and stars. So on the inside embedded is a little paw print from Cat Noir, and everything else is just flowing all around it. So what do you think of my little resin shaker? Do you like it? If you do, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And let me know down below in the comment section what other types of shakers do you want to see next. Alright, I'll see you next time. Bye!